Hello there. I'm gonna go through how to set up a virtual arsenal, a virtual ammo box system in your mission. Loading screens are beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely what we need. So what I'm gonna do spawn in a player. Five moon player. Boom. Then I'm gonna go ahead and spawn in a box. You can put this on anything, of course. It's a cargo box. Boom, that's all we need in this. So, what we need now are a couple of files and a bit of code. So, what you need to do for getting virtual ammo box is going to this link where the person who made it, Tonic, has the download for it. Now, uh, once you've done that, you have to move that into your mission folder. So, Go into your game, save it, last slash VA, whatever you want to call it, you have it saved. So you have to go to your documents, your armor 3 or profiles, your name, missions, and there it is, last slash VA is a mission SQL. Now the first thing you need to do is to get the files you download. From this, you'll download a folder called VAS. Have it in here because this is my standard stuff. Move that in here. If that will work, please. Copy. Alright, you have this. So you need for now. So, following the instructions on the website. You put this into your description.ext, do that, right click, new, text document, description.ext. Now, be careful that you have file extensions on, because if not, it will be stored as a ext.txt. Now, to find that out, just go to Google and type in how to see file extensions will tell you that it will break your game but that's completely wrong and is it ext? no, indeed it is so there we go, we have a description.ext now what this does, it tells your game a bit of different rules, I'm going to move this off to the side I'm going to go ahead and find this again I'll copy paste this piece of code and I'll put that in here. No, I hate my computer sometimes. There we go. Then I will save that. That's done. Now, the next thing you need to do is to take this here, copy that. Into the, you just go ahead and open up your cargo net and paste it, control V, into the initialization field and you'll be good. Now, right now that is going to work if you've moved the files correctly. Set it up in the description. Now, to create the virtual arsenal, I'm going to use the same code as I used here from the um, Box, sort of. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy my VA to this. Jeff, I'm going to download this. I'm going to go ahead and create a folder called scripts. I'm going to paste that in there. Get up. So the fear I have this. I'm going to go ahead. Add to this box. I just you don't need to do this, but I like to do it. Now it's script slash va dot sqf. So if a folder it is, just to be two hundred percent sure, make this a big S, so it is the same. Well, if I could then <laughs> press OK. I'm going to go ahead and press save. I'm going to load it up again. Preview. 
the reason I pressed save and then loaded it was to be sure that it loaded all the data that's inside of the mission folder. Be sure that the computer knows about them, the game knows about them. And that will work. That will work. So run over to this box here. Got two options Arsenal and Virtual Ammo Box. Virtual Ammo Box has a failure. A couple of colors and text not working because I've got a um, a bad version of the folder that you download from the website. If you download it from the website, it's going to work fine. I've just been sort of stupid and edited it. Funds, and then you have Arsenal. You just load that up and you have Arsenal and running. When you call it in this manner, you'll get face and face. Insignia sides as well at the bottom, so you can change your face. Anyway, yeah, that's it. That's how you do it. If you have any questions, post them below, and I'll see you around.